Hi and welcome to another video. My name is Njeri Matiru. Thank you for choosing to be here. So today's video is going to be an interesting one. Joining me is my husband David. I'm sure you've seen him here before. And we're going to be talking about how how life has changed for us, you know, um before having our baby and then now we're going to compare it to now when we have, you know, our baby. Our baby is 1 year and Three, no, two, two months, two months. So we're going to be sharing a few things that have changed for us, you know. So before we get into it, if you're new here, please subscribe, hit the subscribe button. Also, if you have not um, hit the notification bell, please do so. And also remember to leave a comment for me, Palachini, and like, like, like this video. And also remember to share it with, with your family, with your friends, with anyone, basically, yeah? Karibu. Okay, so let's let's start. I can start, Cindy. Uh, yeah. I I think for me wh the first thing uh, is cooking. You know, when when we first got married, actually even now I'm still the one who cooks. Imagine <laughs> every day. Okay, not every day because right now we have a we have a, a nanny that helps. But before, uh, like we would cook what you want, like the menu for us. Is yeah. it called a menu? Yeah, the menu, yeah. like the menu used to be pretty versatile, you know. There are days we would have, you know, baked potatoes and uh, baked, you know, <laughs> bit of poor poor, you know, like because we were living the, Actually, the, the yeah. like you remember those days? Wow. Cindy, oh? Like, of course, we would eat the, the, the healthy things like Yeah, we'd put, put a broccoli inside there. <laughs> <laughs> to make it healthy but no no guys don't get us strong we never used to eat unhealthy but like the, our menu was very creative like like i love food so our menu was very you know creative but now after getting our baby first of all what happened was after getting our baby our family doubled we were just two oh, then yeah. we got our baby we became four yeah. what do i mean we got a nanny you know a living nanny we have a living nanny so even our budget yeah, for food, <laughs> even our budget for food doubled. So we couldn't like right now. I don't think we can afford to, to. Of course, our menu is also still is still versatile. Like I, I try, I try to yeah. not make it boring, but um, of course it has changed. We eat more beans. We eat more jahe and ugali. Ugali. We eat a lot. We, but yeah. Look at no kulo ugali kweli. We never used Once to eat ugali. Month, yeah. Two months. We never used to eat ugali by the way. Mostly potatoes and stuff. But now we eat ugali a lot. Because now also I mentioned that our baby is one year old. So also him, we have to consider him when we are making food, yeah? Yeah. So the food has to be baby friendly as well. So ah uh, yeah, that's what has changed. For me, I think as a person who plans the, the menu, you have to think. You know, for us, we have a two-week menu, so I have to think, okay, today we're having, you know, beans and rice, can my baby have that? Today we're having fries, can my baby have that, you know? Yeah, so, yeah, for you. Okay, uh, I think the first, my first point that I'll go with is uh, my driving style. I had, okay, I, 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 I have improved. I have improved. I'll give you a story. <laughs> <laughs> just finish just finish <laughs> anyways most of the time okay i'm not a bad driver but i usually drive really fast mm. when the road is clear mm -hmm. not in traffic overlapping and all that but mm. just when the road is clear i usually just go fast because i don't want to see anyone in front of me but most of the, most of the, as in these days i usually try to remember okay when i'm uh, driving and i start doing that then i start thinking to myself wait i have a baby at home I have a father. What if, what if something happens to me? Who will take care of the baby? Leave us. Yeah. Who will take care of the baby? So I have that thing. So it hasn't changed me completely, but it it's something that, like, I keep remembering anytime I'm driving fast that I'm like, oh wait. Even you know, sometimes I start driving fast and I realize I have my wife in the car and the baby. Then I'm like, oh, I need to slow, <laughs> slow down. down. Yeah. 
but I think you have another story. Yeah, I have a story. I have a story, <laughs> guys. You remember, you remember, Davy, when that time when I was being released from the hospital. Oh, remember yeah. when you were saying, oh, you, the day we are, we are being released, you, you would take a hazard. You said you would put the hazard. No, yani you would take at 10 kilometers per hour. You remember? <laughs> I could tell them. Tell them. Tell them. You, you're lying to people here. Yeah, your driving style has, it has not changed. <laughs> Guys, like we are, we are fresh, fr- like we are fresh from the hospital. The baby, this is the first time the baby is seeing outside. <laughs> eh? Devi, no, but did you really go that fast? But see, you had like I didn't me. go at. But you didn't see. You did. No, see it's it. more dangerous if you drive slow. But, it's better to drive but, somewhere in the middle. But you <laughs> didn't. You didn't seem like you. You even aware that you have a fresh human being. You know me. I was just like here. Hey? See, he okay. was not used to the outside. I wanted to get him home fast <laughs> so that he can. <laughs> Anyway, okay. Okay, my that's turn. my point, yeah. Okay. Uh, uh, the other thing for me is uh, uh, going out. Like, I remember when um, it was just the two of us, we would go out late. You remember? Like, yeah. sometimes we go to the hub or whatever. Or whatever. Even at midnight, we just... Yeah, <laughs> yeah. We, like, we'd be at home and then we're like, okay, we, are, we want to buy something from... We used to live in Sikkim all those days. We'd go to Gateway Mall, for example, and just buy even food if you're not, uh, we don't feel like cooking and stuff like that. But right now, we don't have that luxury. Yeah, because now our baby, like we, we're on a schedule, like our baby has to be asleep by this time, he has to have eaten by this time and whatever. So even if, even if you're going out, for example, like on Sundays, when we decide we're going to go um, eat out, like by 7.30, we're usually driving out because... We are thinking this. We have to bath this baby. We have to, you know, wind him. down. He has to wind down. Yeah, actually, you yeah. know. So our, you know, we can't. We don't have that luxury anymore. Just, you know, going out at whatever time. Yeah. Okay, and I think I'll piggyback on your point because, mm. uh, as you mentioned that, I remembered that time we went out to this restaurant mm. and we had the baby and we were both frustrated. Mm. It was like two weeks ago, we were both mm. frustrated because we were like, okay, you can't even have fun anymore. Yeah. <laughs> you can't have, okay, you can have yeah. fun, yes. Yeah. But you have to keep thinking about this baby. So yeah. he's walking around behind the, <laughs> the, the seat. So you hear him hitting the, the glass with his head. Yeah. You know, you're like, guy, <laughs> what's happening? <laughs> so that day, I remember it was so frustrating. We just looked at each other and we had other friends and then they were yeah. laughing at us, of course. Yeah. And they're like, oh. They don't have any children. <laughs> they don't have so... any children. So they're just like, <laughs> yeah, but yeah, going out has really changed. It's not just because yeah. of COVID, because yeah. of uh, night time, but mm. it's it's just different. Uh, uh, I think uh, which I'll I'll add on to my point mm-hmm. of things that have changed because of having a baby is our holiday. Because mm. you we went on holiday recently, and oh. and it was it was the first. <laughs> Because we usually go for holiday, holiday every year, yeah. around the same time actually, every, yeah. we usually do the same routine, but this time it was very different. <laughs> you couldn't just go and just relax and just sit by the beach and just yeah. enjoy the, the scenery. Yeah. We just had to keep thinking about the baby and what he's doing and what he's eating. And then the worst thing is he refused to eat the food that was being served at the... But for most of the things he yeah. refuses yeah. to eat, yeah. so they are worried. Like, okay, what do we do for him? Yeah. They don't have the food that we he's used to. They did. They, they did, did, but, but it, it was different. It was being served. It was being, those are kids. Those are kids uh, eating time at six. Liam doesn't eat at six. You remember? I mean, you don't even remember. I have. <laughs> those are kids. Those are kids. I know kids, those are kids. Men kids something. dinner was yeah. being served at six. Okay, I didn't know that. So that no, like. Okay, me in my head I was thinking, sister, we go at six for Liam to eat, and then now we go again at nine for Liam. Like I, now at home he eats the same thing we eat. So anyway, just continue. Yeah. And then the worst thing is we had to follow his schedule. So yeah. if you follow my wife on Instagram, you might mm-hmm. have seen a post that she put. Yeah. That she was taking care of the baby while me I was enjoying myself swimming. It's true. But we agreed <laughs> that she we will hold the it. baby while I just go enjoy a small. Swim, swim, yeah, <laughs> just for a few minutes. Do you know you did not even tell me? You did not even tell me you're going to swim. Did you I tell me? Did you tell me you're going to swim? Yeah. Okay, maybe you did, but yeah. you didn't tell me you're going to swim for that long. Yeah, see, but now when you're in the pool, the time time moves slow in water. I don't know. Okay. 
Okay, but basically what you're saying is even holidays are Holidays change. Holidays That's holidays something I didn't realize because you have to still keep up with the schedule. Whatever yeah. schedule that you have with your baby, you have to yeah. keep up with it. And that was yeah. what was different and actually made us not really enjoy. It was a good holiday. Yeah. It was nice actually seeing yeah. our baby enjoying the water. He swam. The, yeah, he yeah. swam. He was really happy, like just entering the pool. He was really excited with that. Mm. So that one was, it was really fun. Mm. But now we didn't really relax. I wouldn't call it like relax. Yeah. Really. Yeah. 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 Just, yeah. yeah. Anyways, unless you want to add to that. Uh, I think I'll, I'll, I'll also say that for us, entert- hey, yeah, yeah. entertainment is different, you know? Like what you said, like we went on holiday, but and our why is this word so hard? Why is this word so hard for me to say? Our entertainment was seeing Liam enjoy the the water, for yeah. example. You get yeah. seeing him walking on the Cabro in coast. You know, seeing how he would react on the plane and stuff like that. You know, yeah. like for us, entertainment has changed. You know, we enjoy seeing our baby um, reaching his milestones. You know, like right now he's in a season where he's i think he's becoming more aware about the cartoons that he's watching so he gets very excited you know about the cartoons so even when he gets excited we get excited so yeah i think for for me entertainment has really changed like i i derive so much joy when i see my baby you know crawling and then walking and then now we are you know we are, we are anticipating that he'll start talking soon so like yeah for us for me for me i think i think that has changed for me. Mm-hmm. Uh, I think my point, the next point that I'll go with is sleep. Mm. Uh, well, my sleeping pattern has really changed uh, in terms of, uh, the thing is we used to go sleep at any time without any no, me, I used to have a clock. You used to sleep at any time. Yeah, okay, me, I used to sleep at any time. I yeah. never used to have a schedule or anything. I just used to go sleep any time because I knew I could sleep for as many hours and not mm. nothing would wake me up. Mm. And then one day, this baby comes into this house. <laughs> yeah. And you have... Actually, I don't think he was crying really, but being paranoid about him being okay yeah. was what kept me up most of the night. Just yeah. keep checking on him, just to make yeah. sure that he's okay. Yeah. Uh, which really used to stress me. And then now, here's a thing that mm. my wife did. She's malicious. <laughs> so what she did is <laughs> she placed the baby. Uh, basically, it was this is how the sleep arra- arrangement was. Mm-hmm. My wife, me, and the baby. Mm. So when the baby, of course, you know, it the baby wake, wake up, up to at feed yeah. <laughs> every two or three hours. Yeah. So who is told, who is... Uh, <laughs> Like, see, you're the one next to the baby. Now you want, me, you, you want me to jump over you so that I can get the baby so that you continue see, sleeping. See, you step next to the baby. Then Why should I sleep? No, 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 no. Ladies, let me tell Why you. Let me you t- wait, this, I'm waking up to do what? <laughs> listen. You I'm waking up to give you a baby and to give, put him back in the bed. Yes. 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 Uh, how, how is it not fair? How is it not fair? Well, you, you, not? Sleep, you, you sleep throughout the night. Me, I wake up every two to three hours to feed the baby. How is that fair? Tell me, tell me, David, how is that fair? How is it that is fair? fair because I am waking up to do nothing. It's not nothing. I am waking up to pass the baby and to pass him back to the yeah. bed. Yeah. Anyways, if it was for burping, I understand that's a different issue where mm-hmm. but I have see, to But see, sometimes used to be Nini used to walk up yeah, with him to burp him. Yeah, but then when he stopped burping, I still had to do the same yeah. procedure. Yeah. Until we got him yeah. another bed, and then now we had to change you know, the sleeping arrangements. You know, the key, the key word is our, our, our <laughs> baby, our. You know, like he's not my baby, he he's our baby. So, anyways, long story short, the sleeping arrangements changed. Now I'm at the corner. <laughs> my wife is in the middle. The baby yeah. is at the corner. Yeah. And he's also soon leaving the room. Yeah. And these days he sleeps mostly yeah. most of the days throughout the night. Yeah. And uh, I think I've gone back to my norm because even yeah. sometimes when he wakes up, I have no idea. Imagine. <laughs> but that's what changed initially when mm. the baby came uh, came home. Mm. Sleeping arrangement had to change. Mm. True. Yeah. True. Uh, on the same point for sleep, I think for me, sleep sleep is not the same anymore. 
like we were having this discussion the other day and i was telling you the way like if i think about my sleep before my baby like my sleep used to be so nice you know <laughs> like you sleep you remember who were we talking about there's a friend of ours in our friendship group alikuwa anasema yeye anamkanga saa 5 he wakes up at 11 am we were like wow must be so nice <laughs> yani you just sleep you sleep you sleep and sleep and sleep and then you wake up at 11 must be nice me for me sleep is not the same like you sleep knowing uh, you know your baby might wake up at night you know so it's rare for for me it's rare to get into a really deep you know baby babyless sleep I mean, baby babyless baby i mean those pulled out babies it's rare for me to get into a deep babyless sleep because my baby might wake up at night and then he has a routine he wakes up at a particular time yeah. every morning so you can't up. even sleep in yeah. when the matilioni may beat wacha nilale umto ya tamkele tema na amka by the way and you can't continue sleeping you know so for me sleep is not the same like ah it's just not it's just not as much as even my baby is bigger like i thought once my baby became bigger you know i would go back to how i used to sleep but i don't think that yeah, will happen that will happen because even when we move him to we are, we are moving him to another room even after we move him i think we will be even more paranoid actually for sure for the initial stages we'll be paranoid yeah. i know yeah. i'll be paranoid yeah before we get used to it yeah we have systems we have a camera and everything yeah. but you're still going to be paranoid yeah. that's not going to change so sleeping sleeping with a baby i don't know you know i was talking to a, another uh, colleague of mine who was telling me that her kids are bigger but she still does not sleep the same you know like sometimes the, the the children wake up at night and she's the one who goes to check on them because for her as a mom she doesn't she doesn't get into that at a deep sleep ya wanaume where you don't hear the baby crying at all. <laughs> you have another point uh well my next point is in uh, terms of playing games mm. I really love I love playing games computer like computer games, games yeah so to be specific mm. uh, and the thing is my sh- also that time to do that I can't really do it for prolonged periods mm. cuz I have to remember oh there's a baby here mm. mm. and most of the time when I'm not at work I'm at, when I'm at home my wife most of the time is also at, is at work mm. that time so mm. I can't really just uh be in the house playing games while the nanny is taking care of the baby yeah. that's not being a good father yeah so i have to be with him yeah so when he sleeps a bit like i run like to my gaming station i play a few games then he wakes up i go back mm. so that one has been affected mm. uh and also sometimes actually you get really tired you'd from work you'd yeah. like to play a game but then you remember yeah. oh he'll wake up at this time in the morning yeah, so yeah. you can't, I can't stay, really up stay up late because you'll wake up at a particular time you'll still wake up at the same time so yeah. i have to go go to sleep because yeah. you'll wake up at the same time yeah uh yeah do you have yeah yeah i have a few more points the the other one for me is i think since becoming a parent i we used to save before we got yeah before we got our baby we used to save but i think the discipline has become better now that we have Actually, a baby yeah. like i remember there was a time me and him me, me and you we went for a walk just oh, to, yeah, to just discuss, to discuss yeah. fin- <laughs> just to discuss finances and what we're going to do because like we've realized that we we are the ones who will determine like the quality of education our, our child will have the quality you know like even the quality of life we will have like the decisions we make they will determine a lot of things in our life yeah. and in the lives of our children so like we we are more aware now of of our spending we are more aware of um we are actually learning on on the different investment opportunities that are out there you know like we are we are sobering up i think i think parenthood has really sobered us up in terms of you know uh financial literacy and and all that so yeah i think and i'm really proud of us for that like we are we are making grown up decisions which is really cool you know yeah I think uh, you have another now I continue. Uh I have one more. Okay. Uh well before mm. we got a baby. Mm. Uh okay, I'm a person who loves working with time. If I say I'm going to be there at 7, I'll make sure that I'll be there at 7. Mm. Uh so 
that one um, I remember it was a few weeks ago when mm. my wife was at work mm. and I was supposed to uh, she, uh, I was supposed to go with the baby to church mm. to meet up with her at around I think we agreed for 10:30 yeah so you're supposed service to be there just a bit earlier yeah, service starts at 10:30 yeah so in my head I'm still thinking of like just preparing for me I know how long it will take for me but I didn't realize how long it takes to prepare a baby to go somewhere <laughs> Yeah. So that day I remember I I was even explaining to my wife that it took me I don't know how long because I was leaving the house I was supposed to be there at 10:30. I think I was leaving the house at around 11:30. Yeah. You got there that when because church has ended. And th- there was no point that I was just seated doing nothing. From the time I started preparing which I think was around 9 because I had to make sure that he eats. Mm. Then I had to change his diaper, make sure that he's clean, he's okay then for me to prepare and yeah. do everything and then yeah to pack his bag because you have to yeah. remember all the things that he needs he needs his diaper he needs his <laughs> toys his yeah. water his yeah. food for the day because you are going yeah. uh, to meet up with friends yeah so tra- that as in that time preparing time i realized that it's so different with a baby like mm. you have to like una skangam tra sema i got late because it was i have a baby, a baby. <laughs> yeah I know what it means. I was like, ah, so you know, you can plan around the baby. He used to think, yeah, see, the baby is like a, a you, just, you just, you plan, plan for, for, you plan for the baby, yeah. but you realize that even the baby is like, eh, hey, it's true. What you're saying is true. It's true. It's true. So that point really hit me. I was like, whoa. Yeah. Like, I, I am surprised that yeah. it takes this long to take a, yeah. but of course you can now replan and figure out how yeah. it takes along yeah. with the baby. Yeah. But for me, that at that point, I hadn't figured it out yet. Yeah. So I was, I really lost, like, track, lost, of lost track of time completely by over yeah. one hour. I was just yeah. confused. Yeah. Yeah, true. But yeah. Yeah. Okay, I think uh two more points for me. The first one is um I think for for us we have we have really enhanced our teamwork in terms of uh, of okay. Before do, did we used to have shared chores? before before our baby what did Shashos. you what did you used to do before we got here wash dishes oh yeah i used, used to cook to, used to wash yeah, dishes yeah we used to agree yeah so but i think i think now after getting our baby our teamwork has you know has gone to another level because you know like he's mentioned taking care of a baby like it can really your day can go just like that yani the whole day umekuwa tu take care of a baby now <laughs> so i think for us we our teamwork has really has really enhanced because like the nighttime routine that our baby has we share we share that responsibility you know there are things that he does there are things that i do um the same for mornings like sometimes if if he's going to work he will do the morning routine if I, i'm going what have i said if you're going to work i'll do it yeah and if i'm going you'll do it yeah. you know so we we have really learned that art of you know tag teaming and 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 um and coming together just to accomplish the the task of you know taking care of a human being so i think for us our teamwork yeah has really gone up for me that's what i think the other thing is i forgot to mention now when we're talking about eating out for us i think we 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 are really particular about where we go to eat you know kitambo yeah. we would just go anywhere Random. like yeah would be like hmm ama we go to whatever and whatever but then these days we're like okay How does that place look like? Is it baby friendly? Is it outside? Is it outside? Is it going to be cold? How is the seating arrangement you get? And then also when we get there we're like, okay, do they have a baby seat? If we go to a restaurant and we find the baby seat is ish ish, we are not going back there. Because now where do you where where do you want us to put the baby? Like how can you not have a baby seat in this era? Like no, no, by the no. <laughs> yeah, so for us even how we decide where we're going to eat has really changed you know it yeah. has to accommodate us as a family because that's not changing anytime soon so we need we need something that will accommodate you know us as a family yeah yeah you have anything to add to that ama uh, no 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 mm. nothing to add that okay Your points are over yeah yeah i finished my points okay yeah oh okay this one thing i wanted to say mm-hmm. no, not in terms of the points and what you were discussing is mm-hmm. In the end mm-hmm. as she mentioned earlier mm-hmm. we realize that it's all worth it when you see your baby doing new things the, and yeah. you see he's doing yeah. yes things have changed routines yeah. have changed you yeah. have things seem like they're getting 
I don't know, you're getting old and you're getting, <laughs> you're yeah. no longer having fun and everything. Yeah. But yeah. the exciting bit is seeing your child doing new things. Like, yeah. even today, they, uh, I was telling my wife, just a few a uh, few hours ago, mm. the our baby was just smiling while yeah. looking, he was actually just closing the door and just laughing by himself. And <laughs> me, I was also just there laughing, <laughs> enjoying that moment. So it's worth it in the end. Yeah. Like, yeah. Yeah, it's very fulfilling. It's, yeah, it's very, it's, yeah. I think I agree. I agree with you. Like, I don't think I, I don't know. The joys of parenting are just so unique, and um, I, I, you can't experience them until you're a parent. So for us, we are we are really enjoying this season. Honestly, we are, we are, we are, and um, we really thank God for the opportunity, the opportunity to be parents, and yeah, we we don't take it for granted. Yeah. yeah. So, so, so thank you for joining us. Um, if you're a parent and 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 uh, you have you, you if you want to share with us, you know some things that have changed for you. You know they could be they could be on the on the challenging side or they could be on the positive side. You know you can share with us in the comments. And remember, if you have not subscribed, please subscribe and um, leave for me a comment and like and share with your friends. And see you next time.